and still when I threw it, just snapped and the soft bait went. So ladies and gentlemen, I am checking out these couple spots because I have some new lures that I have to check out if they are good, if we can catch something. They are interesting lures for sure. So this is what I'm gonna try. I set off my spinning rod how it's supposed to work and I have this small ladybug lure that I want to test. I got it from the internet a couple days ago and I'm really looking forward to test it. It's a top water. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Let's see if we can actually catch something. I will be really amazed if I catch something with this, but hopes die last, right? They not gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. So chicken teriyaki sandwich. Mm. Chef's kiss. The first spot was a total disaster. There is no movement at all with fish. But now I came to this lake and it's full with anglers but they basically all fishing for carp so that means the rest of the species are mine and this is what i'm thinking about but i see the water is go deep really fast i thought maybe i can put on my weathers and go inside and try it basically along the shore where the where the vegetation is but this place is not good for me. Let's see the other one and if not, I'm going further away. The only thing is it's weekend. I hate coming to lake weekend because it's full with anglers and you don't know where they cast because they fishing on the bottom of what it's called for carp. So I don't want to disturb them. Maybe I can find myself a place. And this doesn't look so bad, but I can go like five meters maybe. And then I don't see the and then I don't see the bottom anymore. So that's a no-no for me. They uh, uh, fun fact you see here is the lake right now and here is my van. All this place where I'm staying right now, like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, were, was uh, full with water. So here where I'm working right now, was full with water. But because the big heat and warm days without rain, now it's nice, now you can work. So if you, are, if you are new, then not, but if you watched my other videos, you may be familiar with this place. I have fished here already and I caught nice pieces, so I'm absolutely sure that I will catch something with the new lures as well. Let's see if my theory is right 
and I can indeed catch something. Now let's see how many casts it takes to catch actually something here. The level of the water is going down badly. I mean just a week ago was almost up here and now I can stay on the tubes. It's crazy. So now that I got my first fish for today and my hands smell as fish, I really want to try my ladybug. Let's see, hopefully I can catch something. I think somebody on the other side just catch something because I heard big splash from the fish. So either jumped or somebody just held in a big fish. If I don't catch anything anyway, let's try something really big. Let's try this lure. There is a lot of vegetation here on this side and I thought maybe I can find some pike underneath. So I'm gonna throw it alongside with the vegetation because we don't want to get stuck and I don't think I can lose it. This is some metal stuff that won't broke. But well, you never know. So I'm gonna throw it right in and hopefully catch something big like an hour. And if nothing moves, I'm gonna go on the river and try to catch another big boy. Like last time I got my lure. So let's hope for the best. Does have a nice I'm really scared to get something actually. So my lure went bye bye, it broke my line somehow. This is interesting because this line has a maximum drag, like 12 kilos or something. And still when I threw it, it just snapped and the soft bait went bye bye. Hmm, interesting. Maybe something bite it first time or second time and I, and I didn't felt it and now it just snapped. I have no idea, but one of my two big new lures are gone. So let's change to something else. I don't see anyone here. So I, I found a broken road. What the hell? <laughs> Somebody caught a big one. So let's see. Whoa, this side went miserable. I used to fish this side, but now it's pretty much you can't. It's fairly that big fish jumped because I don't see the waves, but I'm sure that was a fish because I don't see any angler. <laughs> huh, interesting. I might try this side or this side with a frog. I haven't catch any fish with a frog till now, so maybe today is the big day. The 
the water here went really really low I didn't even imagine this will be so low you can basically walk in I can see the where the fishes are there is a fish I guess there it's something deeper but here you can stay on the water and nothing happens it's crazy I was sure this is a deep water here but I was I was wrong I see but good thing the fish still jump we don't have a problem with that let's see if we can catch something finally on that ladybug okay the fishes are here they are jumping and I like it the only thing we need is to actually catch something I guess I can go home just with that small pike what I caught I don't know how the hell I should work this ladybug I, I just put all my hopes that something will attack it and that's it I, I don't know what I can do more of that fishes are jumping so fishes are here I'm curious oh, oh something went on it I can't believe it come on once again I was about to say I don't know how further away we'll go this river I mean how small will be because next week we have like zero rain and just heat after heat so I guess next time when I come I can stay basically there where is my lure right now I already can stay there if I go through here but it doesn't look that good <laughs> I really hope at least this part will stay like that that's that looks a bit deeper but I don't want to say it too fast because next time I'm coming maybe there will be no water <laughs> oh that was a fish there was a fish hello hello come back fishy fishy It was a nice fish. Bro, come jump here, don't jump there. So I had an attack before and now I had a follower. So maybe this red bug have some potential. I don't wanna talk too soon, but looks promising thing now. Maybe a nice chub or eyed will jump on it. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> At least I can throw it really well. For that size it goes really well. Let's see where the water is shallow. Maybe there. The good part is if the water goes further down I can walk there and I can cast under the tree I really think there is some movement under the tree bro we're jumping everywhere but not on my lure I'll have a couple more casts I see fish is interested in this but they don't buy things or they attack but I can't catch them maybe the hooks are mounted wrong or I don't know but if I catch nothing with this and couple more casts then I'll change to something else whoa down there jumped a nice piece where the hell is my lure? why it's under the water? I'm under the water Please help, <laughs> my ADHD kicking in, anything, bro, really, 
Jesus. That was a big eye, I think. Come on, take it. Oh, that was a majestic fish right in front of me. I'm gonna try one more time. If nothing comes up, I'm done. Sometimes comes smell like something died here. When the wind blows from that side, comes such a bad smell, like something died other than my dignity. I think I, <laughs> I should do, I should really back like that, like a jerk bait. Makes more movement. But I think that's a carp. I'm not sure, you can see it. What the hell is that orange thing? What kind of fish is that orange? Might be carp though, because it went under the trees and left out some bubbles. It's so frustrating that I can see them, but I can't catch them. I, they, they are jumping, so they are interested in top water. Well, maybe today was really just fishing and not catching. I got just that small pike. And yeah, unfortunately that's the truth. I couldn't catch anything there. Although they jumped within every five seconds. That's it, I'm going home now and thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you watch another one, maybe what's on the screen right now. Because YouTube thinks you might like it and thank you for sticking around and see you next time. Bye bye.